Hello everyone. Hi guys. For any new viewers, we are David and John Robinson, a British Filipino couple lives in Lancashire in England. And today we're visiting Gawthorpe Hall, which is a magnificent historical building uh, in Padium, uh, just outside Burnley in Lancashire. So I'd like to show you around and show you some of the lovely history that it's got. Gawthorpe Hall was built starting in the year 1600 when Queen Elizabeth I was still on the throne and was finished in 1605 when James I was on the throne. But its origins date back much further than that. In the 1300s, the Shuttleworth family built a Pele Tower to repel the invading Scotsman. The Elizabethan house was started by Richard Shuttleworth, but he died before its completion and the house was finished by his brother Lawrence. The house is home to a stunning collection of Elizabethan and Jacobean furniture, as well as an impressive textile collection. Enjoying the sunshine. Yeah, it's a glorious day, isn't it? Yeah. And it looks like there's some sort of a painting competition going on because there's lots of people here with uh, easels and canvas <laughs> and uh, paint. paint yeah, so. there's a few of them going. Yeah there's, yeah, there's a few dotted about the gardens, isn't there? So, mm. very nice. Maybe I'll get something and I'll do painting as well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that's your forte. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we've arrived a little bit too early looking at it because... We are eager. <laughs> there's a sign at the front uh, says it opens at 12 o'clock and it's about quarter past 11 at the moment. But the good thing is we can get a coffee. There's a van there with selling coffee, drinks and snacks. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go and get a coffee and we'll let you know what the coffee's like <laughs> <laughs> shortly. Uh, and then we're going to have a walk around the gardens because the gardens look gorgeous. So we're going to have a walk around the garden. The house remained in the Shuttleworth family for hundreds of years until the last remaining family member, Rachel, left the house to the National Trust on the condition that it was used as a museum and open to the public. It's like a maze. Yeah, it is a maze, I think. Mm. Although, I think it's more for children because you can <laughs> see over the top. <laughs> well, there's a river down here as well, in behind. Yeah, let's have a look. The famous novelist Charlotte Bronte first visited Gawthorpe Hall in 1850 to visit Sir James and Lady Kay Shuttleworth. Charlotte became friends with the Shuttleworths and she stayed with the family in London as well as in the Lake District and they introduced her to Mrs Elizabeth Gaskell who became Charlotte's biographer. Charlotte Bronte was born in England to an Irish father and a Cornish mother on the 21st of April 1816 and although much of her life was marked by tragedy she wrote novels and poems that found great success in her lifetime and are still hugely popular 200 years later. Unfortunately Charlotte was no stranger to tragedy during her life and she lost her mother when she was just five years old and she was sent away to a clergy boarding school with her sisters. Charlotte didn't enjoy her time at boarding school as it was a harsh and abusive environment, but she used her bad experiences at the school as an inspiration for Lowood Institution in her novel Jane Eyre. What does this say, I wonder? PRV in Redenta et Investia. Well, we're just walking towards the old barn area and we noticed all this wild garlic that we mentioned in one of our videos last week. Uh, and it smells exactly the same as the other one. <laughs> like chopped garlic, very strong. 
a lovely old sandstone here. And this uh, gorgeous old cobbled street. I think this is the nicest day we've had this year so far. It's a t-shirt weather today. Yeah. <laughs> which, which I wasn't sure when I came out today. I asked Jo, what, what am I wearing a jacket or not? And she said, no, you're okay in just your t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a little bit chilly, but it's just warming up nicer now. So. It's nice when you're in the sun. Yeah. It's a bit chill, a bit, little bit chilly when you're in the shaded bit. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy in my t-shirt. Yeah. And it looks gorgeous. And we'll be going in shortly. And we'll tell you all about the history of the building. Very popular with the neighbours. The shelving on either side, when we had in the 1850s, the family had been out of the house for about 100 years. When they moved back in, they had renovations done. And there was a, probably a little bit of potential sagging in the Minstrel Gallery. So we had, we, they um, <laughs> modernised, we like to think Victorians quite modern, modernised by having these shelvings to support the Minstrel Gallery. And they also reduced the size of the fireplace, which used to be twice the size it was. You could sit in a chair and stare, oh, stare really? at the stars, yeah. but not practical in a, in a Victorian home. Mm. So it was, you know, it was a family home. It was their summer home. And then at times the family lived here more than just in the summer. But a lot of the time they were involved in Parliament, so they were, had a house down in London. So yeah. the key period of the house is when it was built in the Jacobean times, which most 1600 was it built? 1600. Two years to build the house till 1602. Three years to do the panelling. Was it 1850 that Charlotte Bronte visited? It was, um, just after that, but my colleague will tell you, otherwise she'll oh. tell me off if I tell you that story. Because <laughs> it, it kind of fits in yeah. nice into, into okay. the drawing room. Oh, I shall. So there's, there's a lot of a lot of history here. They were an amazing family. They did a lot of philanthropic things. So they were very aware of the benefits they had. Yeah. And they did things to help people, which makes them even more interesting. Yeah, especially for the time as for well. For the time, yes. Yeah. And some of the things they did were amazing. So in the nursery, we have got a, an exhibition of remarkable women. So telling of some of the things that they did. Well, okay. I look forward Enjoy. to it. Yeah, thank you. Yes, she did, yes. So they, they were great friends, they were friends with the family, yeah. Because it was never a party house, because it's not big enough for... Yeah. It is masterwork, yeah. And they were masters of their trade. So this room, if you took the furniture out, you, you see it exactly as it was, yeah. like 420 years ago when the house was built.
You do the lie down, Joe. Yeah. I don't think it's allowed. <laughs> if this is my bedroom, I wouldn't like it because I can't, <laughs> can't see outside. That's true. You need a step ladder for yeah, it. Yeah, it's got a tall window. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd like all the old family members watching over you as you're sleeping as well. <laughs> it's creepy. Yeah, it is a little bit. All the old paintings watching over you as you're asleep. Oh, the eyes don't move. <laughs> so this probably would have been here when Charlotte Bronte uh, yeah. visited yes, maybe. I think she came twice, did she? Yeah, she yeah. Time to go. Well, guys, we've had a lovely time here at Gawthorpe Hall, uh, and the weather's been super nice. What did you think, Joe? Yeah, it's beautiful. The house is really stunning. Yeah, I can highly recommend it. Anybody who wants to uh, pay a visit here. So that's it for today, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.